Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Fish Academy. Um, today I'm in a project site in Anambra. I, I don't know if I should still call it a project site because the project fully has been completed. The last video I brought as regards this project site was a live video and um, it wasn't that really okay because uh, of the interruption due to network uh, issue. So the, today I decide to bring it in a better form. And uh, in, in previous comment, the, when I posted the last video, some people were asking questions and uh, that I did not do much in terms of explanation in how some of the facilities, in how some of the things are going to work in this 2020 model fish farm. And today I am going to do that. If this is the first time you are stopping by on this channel, you are welcome to Fish Academy. All you need to do is for you to look below this video, click on the subscribe button below this video. And once you do that, endeavor to also turn on the notification bell. This is in order for you to be notified whenever we upload you, we bring you new video. And if you are not new to this channel, thank you for making this channel your most preferred channel on YouTube as regards fish farming. And um, however, all I said, this farm is a model 2020 fish farm which is going to take 100,000 fish. I mean, 100,000 fish. And it, what we have in here is a, a five, a, a, each of the model is going to take 5,000 fish. And each of this model that you are seeing here is a five by 10 meters. I usually tell my viewers, or if you are viewing this channel for the first time, and you want to see how five by 10 meters is in, in length and breadth, take a tape measure five meters and ten meters and at the end of the day you might end up measuring your entire uh, for two models two models alone might be the entire space in your compound for those of you that your compound is not that wide well that should tell you and uh, this farm is seated on a 50 uh, 57 by 25 meter space that is where this main model is seated and we also have the production house, which is, which is going to hold the feed production, the fish production, talking about fingerlings production, and also the reservoir, which you are going to see if you have not seen that. And if you have seen it before in this video, I'm going to show you how it's now looking like, because the last time you saw it, it was very, very different. So I, I want to start from here. Let me explain one by one how some of the things here works. What you see here is quite different from what you saw in the previous video. And um, this is an overflow pipe. And right in here is where we have our ball game, which I'm going to open. Right in here, we have our ball gauge and right here we have our overflow so as the water is building up inside this model as the water is building up inside the pond the water is also building up inside this overflow pipe and once it gets to a certain stage which we want water to stop inside the model then the water will then overflow into this you may not really understand i'm going to cover it back so this is our ball gauge four inch ball gauge valve. So as I said, it's a 2020 model fish farm. So everything has to be modeled. It's different from any fish farm you've been seeing before. I want to tell you that there is not, this farm, this type of a farm is not existing anywhere. And this is the first of its kind in the entire world. I'm talking about in terms of uh, piping, in terms of the connection that, you are, that we are having here is the first world-class state-of-art facility never seen anywhere in the world. If you have seen this type of connection, you've seen this type of uh, thing before, you can use, uh, you can drop it in, uh, in uh, using the comment box below this video. As I said, this is Fish Academy standard of farm construction. Fish Academy standard of farm construction. We don't just construct. Once we construct, we also help to manage your farm till harvest and every other thing. So right inside the pond, we already installed our screen. This is the screen. Inside, you can bring the, uh, can bring it here. This is the screen. 
let okay this is a screen this is what is going to screen the water and the fish we can put it that way so that will help whenever we want to discharge water the fish will not follow the water down to where we are discharging the water to that is the importance of that screen okay and uh, in one of uh, the comments in previous video uh, someone commented in case you are watching this video again someone said no why didn't you bust the wall why didn't you bust somewhere here in order for your what for the water to overflow why didn't you bust i'm sorry that i'm shouting i have to shout because uh, what is actually going on and um, we are drilling the ball uh, we are drilling a ball hole that is going to be supplying water to this farm which i'm going to take you there so you see what is happening there what we are installing is a 20 horsepower submersible pump it, it will interest you and within uh, 30 to 45 minutes one of the model is filled up I, 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 someone is someone is happy now okay so someone said why didn't i um drill a hole where i want the water to stop i said no that is uh, an ancient pattern of a uh, constructing pond what i'm what i'm doing here is a 2020 model you know so what what this overflow does is that uh, it discharges the dirty water beneath the pond you know you can't compare the surface water and the underground and the on at the bottom water in a pond you can't they are never the same the surface water totally is okay but the under the beneath the pond the water is usually bad so this type of overflow we help discharge the the waste on the bottom of the pond it will help discharge the waste take note underline it the waste in the bottom of the pond it will flow the waste when the water is pressing down the pond it also press down the, it press down the water in the pond therefore flowing and uh, pressing the water to flow in the overflow in this type of construction and then build up so this is for air when air gets into this in, in some situation you might not really understand however so this is it we have one we have two we have three we have four we have five up to 20 that is what we have here okay and this is the middle walkway and it's it, it is capable if two wheelbarrow can move side by side without any clash or you want to drive your kekena pep across this place maybe after you want to you want to have best and you have your small kekena pep you want to drive it across this place it will move on freely that is the essence of this this space that we actually made. So this is it. So I'm going to take you down to the, the ashery, and after that, I will take you to where we have uh, the pit production house, so that you see what actually is happening there. So we actually we pumping water into some of the model. We have one, two, three, four. Don't forget, all of it are five by ten liters each. Yesterday, uh, yesterday I was in Enugu in Mr. Chukudi's farm, which you are also going to see the video. Uh, I was in Mr. Chukudi's farm in Enugu, where he intend to also set up something like this. We've done our measurement, so I'm to go back to bring up the design and then um, also uh, the bill of quantity and the bill of labor. Uh, the, uh, we also, I've also done same in a pair, which the design is ready, which I'm going to submit it. Uh, any moment from now and uh, I believe very soon we are going to uh, hold various sites across the country. Don't forget Fish Academy, we are, we, we are not limited to Port Harcourt or the southeastern part. We cover the entire region, Nigeria, even across, the, across Nigeria in case you need us. So this is it. The same overflow, that is what we did in all the model. And uh, don't forget, each of those models, as we said earlier, is going to uh, uh, is going to uh, each of the model. We 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 also make provision for 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 recirculating uh, 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 system in future. We make provision for that. So uh, uh, so whenever they are ready, they want to do that. They just to do just to link it up, and then the water will flow in. So in Fish Academy. What we do, we, we do consultation, we construct, we train. Very soon, another training is going to be, going to be coming up 
in Port Harcourt, and we are going to announce the date soon. In case you have interest uh, uh, becoming a fish farmer, intending fish farmer, all you need to do, I'll be watching our videos very soon. I'll announce the, announce the date that we are going to hold another training in Port Harcourt, and when and the next training that we will be holding in Lagos and then in Abuja. I want to walk you down to where we have uh, the archery so that you see how the archery is now looking like and also the production house and also the, 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 the reservoir. Okay, so this is the archery and in case you are not hearing me clearly and uh, the drilling ball hole and I'm going to take it so that you see what is happening there. So this is the ash tree, and the last time I got video, these connections were not here. We've done also a very good connection here in terms of piping, the overflow system, because in the ash tree, water has to be running continuously, almost for 24 hours every day. And behind me here, this is a retaining wall, as I usually say. This is the retaining wall. And this place is covered a lot. It is in millions of feet of, of pink alleys uh, in, in a goal. Okay, we have uh, we have one of okay, it, two, three, four, five, six. That is what we have here. Let's go out so we see what is really happening there. Uh, where we, we are drilling the ball hole for the farm. Thank you for checking on Fish Academy. Thank you for checking on my channel. So this is the main pond. This is where we have the 100,000 capacity fish farm. And this is where we have the store, the feed production house, the ashery, and the reservoir. And right there behind is uh, the farmhouse that is going to uh, with uh, nine rooms for the staff and office. So uh, very soon, we are, what we are going to do, once they are done with the drilling, uh, the borehole that is ongoing, what I said is that we are drilling for a 20 horsepower submersible pump that is going to be supplying water to the farm and uh, within 30 to 45 minutes one of the model is filled up. So it's very very interesting, it's a wonderful farm and I want to thank my client for making this and uh, for keeping this project alive. Uh, the next thing we are going to do on this channel is for us to cure the pond which we are going to commence once we are done with the borehole drilling. Once we are done curing the pond the next thing we do is to bring in fish and that is going to be done within the shortest period of time. Thank you very much for your love, for your prayers and for everything. Till I come your way again, I remain your humble friend, Kufre Francis of Fish Academy. Bye.